Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all well. Hope you like part one of Hitman 3. Today we're playing part two. And I uh, hope you like my last video. So today we are on a mission which is England Dartmoor Death in the Family. Right, so guys, uh, hope you like my videos. Please. Uh, like subscribe and hit the bell icon as your kind support means a lot to me and so let's get started end of the line oh this looks quite interesting doesn't it guys she came home did she Carlisle's lost an empire you fall hard enough and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters Mm, true. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? How are you? I am. Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlisle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlisle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlisle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house. Meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Yep, see you on the other side. Looks very, very interesting, this one, guys. Okay, objectives, planning. Okay. So, we did the briefing. Okay, target, find the case file. That's what we need, it's the case file, guys. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck to you too. Right, guys, let's get started. Death in the family. It seems like the whole family are murderers. So how do we get into here? I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. 
please. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Right, so we need to get his. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, mm -hmm. it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Okay, okay. The, the thing is, how do we get... How do we get him? Mm, bushes. Guys, man, look at the graphics. Would love to play a horror game. Can't wait for Resident Evil. Wait, stop there. Should I get him? Should I get him or should I not? No, I can't. Because you got the gardener there, you got the maid. Hmm. So that won't be possible, will it? Hmm. Right. Oh God, you nearly see me. I think we need to get into there. He's turned around, she's walking away. Will anybody see us? Butler. Is he a butler? Is he a security guard? No. You can see me, guys. I'll enter here. Right. So, okay. Now, how do we get him? That's the thing. We've got security guard there, we have a butler, and we have this detective guy who we need. We need to disguise as a... Okay, so there's... Uh, I can see on the bottom left hand on the little map. Can you see the red? Oh, he's coming this way. He's coming this way, guys. Disguise yourself as a private investigator. Oh, did he see? Please say nobody see. What's this? Why have I got a gun out? Do I need a gun out? Um, what if I have a coin, camera? I'll stick with this. Okay, so now. Oh, what have I done? What did I do? Why did that fall? There's a butler. That is Alexa Carlisle, unofficial mm. leader of the Provenance Partners and last one to be alive. Okay, I can't talk to him. Oh, what's this? Can I talk to you? Are what? you listening to me? What? You know you'll get hurt acting like that. What have I done? Hotel Six, this is Reaper. Odd looking 1024 at my position. Deadly force is authorized. Engage when ready. Contact! Dismounts! Two o'clock! You're killing me! What? What did I do? Oh god. Uh, replay. Let's load. Please let's save. What did it save to? Um, 
save slots load game yes we're gonna load this one what did i do wrong i sneaked on uh, behind the cover uh, hmm alexa carla okay this is what we need to we need to hide in here what we'll do we'll wait till he walks a bit and then we'll take him out maybe i took him out too early i don't know okay that's what i've done guys i took him up too early that's why he turned around what i'm gonna do stay behind here i'll wait here let him come here first i'm not sure if that security guy can see me um so let me check if it's recording guys yep it's recording sorry about that guys okay there he is all right so instead of getting inside the cupboard i'll hide behind the luggage if somebody can see me i'm not sure who but i'll go behind him take him out i don't want to snap his neck well that'll be okay so we pick him up Take him in here. Dump him in there. Right, okay. Now, I'm going to make sure I don't break any glass. Oh, how close was that? Hmm. Right, so where do we go? Trying to figure out where do we go from here. Mm, I'm not gonna break the glass. Okay. Mm. So. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Okay, so Results wait. and discretion are my speciality. Very well. Oh, she's talking to me. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime I love scene games like these. is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you I like have. some refreshments? Or do you mm. prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? Yes, let's go straight there. Okay. I prefer to get started. As yes. You wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I certainly will. No, I'm not going to take him out. There's no point. Oh, well, there will be another game like this. I feel obliged to point out. The current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. Mm. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that a staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's really? children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please <laughs> bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. Right, so they come to their mom's funeral I but she's not dead. I do not need to remind you that there will be word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Not me. I'm going to tell everybody that she's alive. Make sure everybody knows. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. Okay. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me 
when you finish your investigation of the crime yeah. scene, blah this blah, is the blah. Room to my right a locked yeah. room murder mystery 47 i trust you'll get to the bottom of this i will why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body 47 i'm just going to my pull the gun out hmm scanning throat markings indicate a rare short-lived plant poison killed him spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night mm. you do know your poisons 47 right so the guy was poisoned mm. let's go to intel Just stick with the camera and what we'll do we'll change the camera we'll go and stick with a coin what about here let's investigate what's on the laptop zachary was shopping for new wellingtons last night not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal hmm correct why would you want to zachary's suicide note. buy something also a sample of handwriting it could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. That's a good point, like, you know, why would he be searching online if and then commit suicide? What's in this book? A hidden ah. door. Ah, ah, hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm, a photocop. Oh, so someone has got all the floor plans. plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time mm -hmm. to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Yeah, let's see what he says. There's a little peeping Tom in here. Can we see? Not really much, can we? Right, how do we open this door? Where are you, butler? You are the murderer. Okay, we don't want to be walking around with a knife. Oh, what's that there? Hmm. Wow, guys, don't know why that this graphics, man. Look at that. Hmm. Oh, you're just. Sorry, I thought you were the butler. My apologies. I thought he was a butler. <laughs> now we're going to go and find the butler. Where is he? How do we find uh, is Adam downstairs walking around? Hmm. What is this? Uh, blend in as a bodyguard. What is this? Okay, anyway, let's go and find a butler, we'll see where he is. I don't think it's really safe, is it, to walk around? Is that him there? Is that the butler? No, these are the security guards. Cannot jump from here. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm keep pressing that. Sounds. The sound effects, everything, man. It's just, look at the floor. There you are, mate. Come on, talk to me. Where are you going? I want to talk to you, butler.
How's everything coming along, Helene? Very well, Mr. Fernsby. Make sure you focus on your work. I will. I don't need one more maid, Mr. Fernsby. I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10, 10 o'clock last night. Light. Well, that means the staff were off duty. Mm. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Okay. Who's this child? I don't need one more maid crying in the kitchen. So what Patrick yourself, Carlyle, now, Mr. Patrick. Can don't you tell me where me. you were yesterday evening? Oh, shit, it's that sneaky butler, isn't it? He ratted me out. Elaine, give us some privacy, would you? What? A broom just went missing? Where's she picking up? Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexa used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married mummy. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customers. Hilarious. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No, I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Hmm. Okay. So we have. Oh, I've just remembered. I went for a stroll behind the greenhouse last night. Did you? Just got Intel. See what. Uh, so, Mr. Fernsby, we got Patrick, Emma, Rebecca, Edward, Gregory, okay. So these are the guys I think we need to go and have a word with. What do I have in my hand? Why am I walking around with a non-lethal? That's okay, I can walk around with that. Absolutely, man. I just love the way they made this game. I love a mystery game. With this kind of graphics this kind of story I did ask him didn't I now I need to find the other 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 brats hmm wonder where will it be mm, let me find okay we don't need to get there we don't need to we ask him what's this what's in here what is this blend what is this hmm Whatever it is, I don't know. We're moving on, guys. Bro? Do I look like a bro? I'm an investigator. Get your facts right. Skew. Ah. Who's in here? What can we see? We got a bell there. Chandelier up there. Mm, what's this? Why does it keep saying blending as a bodyguard? Poison. Missing. Aha, so this must be. Let's ask her. Hmm. Emma Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all?
No, I'm not asking more questions. How uh, did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. Hmm. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Why did you know that? Anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Hmm, okay. So you, what about you, Gregory? Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Yes, I am. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Not very thorough, are you? No, not at all, Mr. Gregory. Tell me about Zachary. Zach! Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from my intricate intellect? Yes, why did you murder? Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. <laughs> yeah, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Hmm. Right. It's not Gregory. That's, that must be Emma. Look at the details, man, in this game. The detail. Oh, look at the fireplace. The photo frame. Hey. This game... Definitely. You're the maid, I'm not gonna ask you anything. How about you? You look like another one. Rebecca Carla. Can you tell me about yesterday? Oh, evening? look at this. We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local mm. at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I did Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book. Which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Okay, so Edward must be the young boy. Oh, he's Patrick. Who's Edward again? 
Oh, right. Okay. Everything, no, no, no. Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. No, I think that'd be it for now. But we need to find Edward now. Oh, there he is. Hey, a floor. Look at the detail. No, hold on. Who's he? He's a security guard, isn't he? Where's Edward? I was going to say it was a bright light. But it's quite foggy out there, but uh, no. I thought that would have been Edward. Hmm. Anything else we can see, guys? Hmm. What about in here? No. So what you guys think of so far, guys? Enjoying it? Enjoying, enjoying, enjoying. What I need to do is find Edward. Hmm, what's she doing? Whoa. Guys, Edward's not in here. Could be in this room. Okay, I don't want to be running too much. Listen, Gregory. Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? That music makes my heart so Currently busy. Currently busy. I'm trying to solve him. A murder case, and he's busy playing the piano. Come on, Edward, we haven't got time for this. Talk to me. Yes, hi, Cassie. It's me. Oh, sorry, got it wrong. Sorry. Yes, Professor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He never admitted, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Mm. Sure, he was upset by mother's supposed death. You were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. If that's all, I have a speech to write. Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. Can't breathe. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right, okay. Why is this black? Where's the child? Uh, hmm. So we crossed him out. We crossed Gregory out because they were in the pub. Uh, what about her alibi? Didn't she have Rebecca have an alibi that. Um, That, what was it again? Yes, hi Cassie, it's me again, Edward. I, I know I'm not supposed to be thinking about it. Okay, well, what is this? We are in the kitchen. What's this? Why do I do, uh, why do, I do s stupid things? Wow, look at the reflection in the mirror, guys. What about in here? Can we go in here? Coin, coin. I guess these coins will be useful in. Okay, now. Hmm, what about in here? Shower. Who in the name of God were having that in the bathroom? He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Okay, that like poison. Chris. He treated me like shit. 
All he wanted to be so many things to be picking up from, yeah. Never any I so imagine. Romance. How many ways can we solve this case? So He's a one guest to attend the funeral tomorrow. There's still a lot to see to, but we're in good time, I think. What's wrong with you? Zachary found Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Like a real princess. You're giving me a bit of anxiety, sir. What? But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside. I except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. Right, so... I can't deal with all this pretend funeral stuff just now. <laughs> Even I he know knows. I have to, but Amy thinks she might be pregnant. I'm gonna pretend, be dead. pretend Amy funeral, eh? Huh? I'm just going around in circles. Okay, so that's my disguise I walked in with. I asked all them. How about you? Mr. Fernsby? Mr. Whitmer, you have enough evidence to present your case for Madame Carlyle? No, not yet. Come and see me when you do. Hello, sir. Okay. So, I need... What, are, what am I supposed to do? What evidence? Hmm, let's go check over these. Hmm. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Okay. So it looks like it's given us. Do that fella just see me? Right. Okay. I'm supposed to go out on the ledge. Uh, Will you see a security guard right outside there? Okay, I'm trying to climb in. Uh huh. So this is Rebecca who said that she was on the laptop three hours. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Hmm. Okay. We've got the cupboard. What else can we see in here, guys? Hmm. Okay. Something here. Ah. Secret door. It's gonna pause over two minutes, guys, to make sure it's recording.